story based after a, a, an infectious outbreak that causes people to go a bit crazy and uh, run amok in a rage, devouring people. And it's what it's our world is set in what happens after the aftermath of that when they find the cure and and get everything back to normal and bring these people back and integrate them back into society and how that affects the psychology of a person. Yeah. Perfect. That, sounds good. <laughs> that was good. great. I'm Honestly, taking notes on that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs>Sam's character's dealing with, uh, still having the memories of what's been done, the guilt, the horror, um, and the amount of trauma in that time, and then sort of the ripple effect of that is I play his sister-in-law, and I invite him to live with me and my small son, with some apprehension, of course, and he faces a lot of, you know, hatred discrimination, as do I for letting him live with me, um, our house gets vandalized, etc. so there's sort of all these uh, different branching effects from what's occurred. We were like, this will never be relevant in five years' time, and suddenly it's more relevant than ever. I think mm. the, 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 the week Alan came over for rehearsal was the same week Donald Trump was elected, and it was just oddly, horribly prescient. Uh, kind of mm. prescient. Um, so yeah, I mean, we, we couldn't have anticipated that, but I think we, we, I wrote this kind of based on the anger that was happening then, and what's happening now is a symptom of that. So I think it, in, in, in hindsight it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I just want to say I'm so, like, David just, like, crushed it. Because not an easy movie, very low budget, big cast, infected people, UN soldiers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, old army trucks, you know, action sequences, and I really was blown away. And first feature film. Um, so I was blown away by, uh, you know, the producers as well as David. You know, for me personally to know Ellen through her work, uh, to then get the opportunity to work with her, and then you get the added bonus that she's just such a wonderful human being as well as you, know, so you win the lottery, so it's, it's great. <laughs> and then you know, to, in those scenes as well, it's you know you need an actor that's going to be there with you all the way, that's going to commit just as much as you commit, and you know you kind of need someone to pass the ball back, and it's such a joy to to throw something at somebody in a scene and have them just catch it and not be phased by it and give it back to you in tenfold. So. That was magic, yeah. We have some characters that are being shunned, some are being accepted back, but I think it's about how we let fear dictate our lives mm -hmm. and, and dictate our politics. And, and I hope that, you know, that, that if there's something to learn from it, that, that, that that's not the way forward.